Yo, what's good, y'all, man? We got Avatar The Wave of Water, Devra L. Scott, custom designer. Like, leave a like to my channel and hit the bell. I think this is for custom, yeah, custom designer. Basically, you know what I'm saying? They, they kill that shit. I ain't gonna lie. No cap. They kill that shit. All they, they, everybody kill that shit. No cap. They like it up, sir. Let me, yeah, let's get it. That move was five. Ten out of ten. Okay. Oh, yeah. We had a costume designer, Deborah Scott, Academy Award winner. I'd worked with since. Oh, shit. Academy Award winner. Hey, W. Oh, shit. We had a costume designer, Deborah Scott, Academy Award winner. I'd worked with since Titanic. She had to. Oh, so she way back at that time day. Okay. And I have a foot in both worlds because she had to design all the costumes for the RDA, but she also had to have the whole other half of her brain to design all the costumes and jewelry and hair designs and hair decoration and everything for the Navi. Costume design is one of the most important parts of expressing a character, how a person Big facts. dresses, mm -hmm. what their clothes signify in a clan people who perform different functions the leader the fisherman a child that all these people have a different place in the clan we researched indigenous people literally worldwide the environment in which the clans live is extremely important to what they wear so the amatakayan are forest people they use things from the pandoran forest the Mekaina are much more adapted to water. Yeah, they got, they got them fans and shit. You are not good divers. Maybe good at swinging through trees, but... <laughs> One of the main reasons that we've made... Ah, uh, she look beautiful, though. No kidding. The garments to completion is the motion of the garment cannot be understood without having the whole piece. So if something's heavy or feathery or light or stringy or fringy, the way these things move in air standing in a breeze, underwater for sure, which is a huge part of the movie. You really have to have the sample to see what happens to it. I oh, yes, I won't fuck up. Honestly yeah. believe that being able to create the garments in their full glory, as opposed to just a piece. So I know, I know, they, I know they did samples, the real thing. They, they probably did like five different types of fabrics or some shit. So, 2D concept artwork is changing the way that digital films will be made. Every fabric and every woven piece or every braid and feather, they all have their own life to them. They all move in their own way. Mm -hmm. And that's not something you can get yeah. from just looking at a piece of artwork and translating that to a screen. We work with Weta Digital on a constant basis. Even the smallest thing like a necklace goes for scanning where they can actually map it. They read the texture, they read the color, and then they use all of that information in a virtual world. That believability, that reality that we're managing to bring to the movie is 100% gonna make it just more real for everyone. Oh, that shit fire though. That shit fire. She did still, still her thing though. And she was at Titanic. That movie Titanic. She did her thing on no cap. Like it up, sub. Hit the bell. Let me know what y'all think about the video, man. And um, yeah. Right. Peace.